Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, is a design framework that instructors can use to reduce barriers students face in the classroom and increase access to opportunities to succeed. We can implement UDL in our classroom through three guidelines, engagement, representation, and action and expression. In this video, we will develop ways to provide students with multiple means of engagement, which answers the question of why students should learn this content or when they will use this information. While this principle can be implemented in no-tech, low-tech, and high-tech ways, UDL adopters often use free and low-cost technology tools due to their powerful learning possibilities. This particular UDL approach focuses on giving learners diverse ways to be involved with a course's content, fellow students, and the instructor. By building in different engagement opportunities, you can help students see the relevance of disciplinary knowledge in their academic, professional, and personal lives. First, let's talk about some concrete strategies that can help students across classrooms without watering down learning outcomes. Now, of course, not every one of these strategies will work in every course or subject area. It's important you find the ones that you're comfortable with and that align with your goals for learners. Can you consider ways to build learning activities that have real-world purposes and audiences? These kinds of tasks might involve an in-depth, immersive experience, like service learning, but they can also be smaller experiences or more hypothetical. For example, ask students to identify potential audiences for their work or real-world applications for what they're doing. Or ask past students to share how their course experiences both met learning outcomes and was authentic in their professional and personal lives. Also, build in opportunities for students to have input in how classroom tasks and activities are designed. Of course, you need to do this within reason, but there are a number of ways that learners can have a voice in classroom structure. Ask them to decide whether certain discussions take place online or in a face-to-face -face class session, or take the class temperature by collecting regular and informal feedback on how students see activities relating to the attainment of learning outcomes. This kind of feedback can help your work as an instructor, but it can also force students to consider how they can better align their work and effort to achieve learning outcomes. Throughout your course, you can also consider building linked tasks that have varying degrees of difficulty, but work toward a common course outcome. These varied assignments or activities will require different levels of engagement and attention, but they can help learners grapple with the challenging ideas throughout a course experience rather than just on a midterm or final exam. Also vary the order of activities in your classroom in terms of the effort students have to put in. Go from easy to difficult or difficult to easy to gain students' attention. And finally, think about how your prompt and frequent feedback to students might foster their engagement in a course. Use rubrics to clarify your expectations and expedite the grading process, while also giving concrete and timely information on how learners can improve their performance going forward. Or stagger assignment dates so that you don't get overloaded with providing feedback. Don't discount the formative feedback peers can provide, especially if you use a grading rubric or guideline. These are some ways to consider multiple means of engagement that may help all learners in your classroom. Some of these may sound familiar, as many of them are simply good pedagogical strategies. If you're looking to target specific learner groups in your discipline, it's helpful to first identify who they are and what they need in terms of engagement. For example, using a variety of familiar contexts to ground new ideas or asking learners themselves to ground these ideas in context can help English language learners, international students, and non-traditional students make sense of disciplinary ideas. 
or using visuals to clarify vocabulary terms can help to engage students with auditory impairments, English language learners, or struggling readers. For more information on concrete strategies to integrate multiple means of engagement into your teaching, visit oakland.edu slash CETL or check out the strategies shared by CAST or the National Center on UDL.